Hi guys, you have been asking for a fill video, so here it is. This is her eyelashes after two weeks from her full set, okay? So we're going to show you how to do a two-week fill and how it looks before and after, basically. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cleanse her eyelashes with the Yegi um, Foam cleanser and it comes with a set of the brush that we're going to use to cleanse it so it's a foam cleanser all we're doing is cleansing it make sure there is no makeup or any dirt on there and then we're going to dry it after we cleanse it and make sure you use a damp paper towel to wash off the cleanser afterwards next thing we're going to do is we're going to prime the eyelashes to make sure that they're ready for the glue So we're going to go ahead with two micro brushes, one from above and one from below, and we're going to cleanse the eyelashes. It's okay if she has eyelash extensions on there because she has come back for a fill. That's normal. We are still going to go in there and cleanse them and prime them. It's not going to damage the old eyelashes. If there's anything loose, it will fall off, but that's all good. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to tape down the bottom lashes. And oh my god, they look so good even after two weeks. Look at those lashes. <laughs> so we're putting down their eye patch a little bit below where the natural eyelashes are. We don't care to hold them down too much because we're going to use the tape to hold down the eyelashes. We do that because the tape doesn't move around after it's sitting there for a while but the under eye patch does so to avoid from getting in the eye we put it a little bit below and we use the clear tape and the white tape to tape it down um, in order to hold down the bottom eyelashes and then the under eye patch is down there mainly to help us remove the tape and everything easily from the skin so it doesn't pull too much okay um, if you want to see the taping there's another video if you need to see the full taping, there's another video on just the taping, so go check that out for my channel. But um, again, the goal is to go ahead and hold down all the bottom lashes so we can clearly see, just like in this video, all of her natural lashes and we're replacing the extensions. And she is using the Yegi Mega Volume eyelashes to do her fill. Um, so here we go. So look at, look at her um, left hand. So she's isolating, making sure she's gluing the volume fan just on one natural eyelash. And we're just going to go ahead and go in there and we're going to fill in all of the eyelashes, all of her natural eyelashes that don't have any extensions. So for a fill, you're not really going to take out all of the ones, all the extensions that are there. You're just going to fill in the ones that have shedded with the natural eyelashes. So what happens is daily we lose or we shed one to five natural eyelashes. And since the extensions are glued on top of your natural eyelash, those extensions are shedding with the natural eyelashes and then new ones are growing out. So technically, all these lashes that you see that she's applying the extensions on, those are all new eyelashes that have grown out within this two weeks that she can put the extensions on now. So usually the extensions don't just fall off because they're not glued in a proper way or because the glue is not strong enough to hold them mainly they fall off because we're changing our natural eyelashes again if it's not done properly then they can fall off because it's not glued properly or if they're using a cheap glue but we use our mega hold glue for the mega volume eyelashes and it's really really strong it holds the eyelashes really well um, but that could be another reason if you do see more shedding compared to how our natural lash cycles are growing and shedding. Okay, so any eyelash extensions that are grown out and they haven't shedded just yet, those are the only ones that you want to remove and put a new one on there. If you can see that silicone um, lash holder on the forehead, that's what we're using to hold the eyelash extensions. Um, it is one way to do it. I personally, most of the time, prefer the tissue because it's less sticky. But some people love those silicone lash holders, so it's something you can try if you want to. Um, 
and we'll put the link below in our in in the video as well in case you want to check that out um, the tweezers we're using straight tweezers and curved tweezers so most of the time you, you want to use two curved tweezers when you're doing a set in this video just to demonstrate on her left hand which is the isolation um tweezers she's using a straight tweezer okay so we don't want to normally use a straight tweezer to isolate because it doesn't have a curve to kind of help us <laughs> but it is not wrong some people do use a straight tweezer you can try it see if that's easier for you but um it does because how the eye shape is it is easier to isolate with curved tweezers but your goal as long as you're getting one natural eyelash and isolating whatever tweezer you use you should still be fine but normally i like to use curved tweezers to isolate and straight tweezers to apply classic eyelashes and two curved tweezers to apply volume eyelashes and again, you can see as we're applying, there are, um, so far, we haven't seen any overgrown eyelash extensions to remove and put a, a new one. So far, everything has shedded as they should, and we're just adding on to the eyelashes that don't have extensions on them at the moment. So that's usually how your fill is. Like I said, we only remove the ones that look kind of bent and turned and whatnot, and I'll tell you guys which ones those are if we... Mm -hmm. 